Spencer Bennington here. I'm a college professor, Taekwondo instructor, and a founder of Rhetorical Roundhouse. And today, I'm practicing with a martial arts weapon near and dear to my heart. It comes from my home, my people, the official Carolina Tire Two. Welcome to Good Black Friday. Welcome back to another episode of Good Black Friday, your weekly dose of positivity and an opportunity to support black and minority-owned businesses. Before I tell you what's good this week and before we get to our Black Friday deal of the week, I do have another trivia question for you. And if you're the first to answer down in the comments below, then you will win a special prize. So far, it's only been Lydia Cass. She is just dominant at the trivia game. So let's see if someone can step up this week. This question comes from goodblackmen.com, specifically their Facebook page. I've seen this uh, bit of trivia floating around for the past week or so, and I wanted to share it with you today. All right, here it goes. You're probably aware that the famous explorers, Lewis and Clark, were aided on their journey by the native Sacagawea, but you may not know that there was also an African-American part of the Lewis and Clark expedition. So if you can post the name of the first African-American explorer to cross North America to reach the Pacific, someone who was instrumental in helping Lewis and Clark develop diplomatic relationships between indigenous people during their journey, then post it in the comments below and you'll win a special prize. All right, before I tell you what's good this week, I've got a couple of updates for you. Last week, I was talking about a new musical artist that I really enjoy. Her name is Chica. And I wanted to celebrate an accomplishment of hers that I just found out a past week she was named as part of XXL Magazine's freshman class, which is a really big deal in the hip hop community. So again, I just wanted to say shout out to Chica. Great work, keep doing what you're doing. And if you haven't listened to her music yet, what are you doing? Also from last week, you might remember that our Black Friday deal of the week was Ultra Cosmic 9 toilet paper. And I hadn't received my shipment yet, but I got my rolls and I've tried them out. And I gotta tell you, they are pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. As you can see, this roll is a little bit smaller than your average roll, but this is something that the makers of Ultra Cosmic 9 have taken into account. They're working on. I know that they're going to make larger rolls. They're also working on tissues, I believe. They've totally redone their website, and they've reduced shipping costs so that people all across the country can get their product for a little bit cheaper. And if you recall, this is made from bamboo so it's much more sustainable and a better alternative to the sort of like chemically bleached pre-based toilet paper so i think where i've landed on it is i like this it gets the job done it's good it's good paper but because of the price point right now i think what i'm going to do is buy ultra cosmic 9 as a supplement i think that right now what i can afford is to at least do half and half every other roll between what i normally buy and Ultra Cosmic 9. And so hopefully by continuing to support that company, it will lower the prices for the consumer and we'll get those bigger rolls. And then eventually I can do Ultra Cosmic 9 for the whole house all the time. And that'd be great. Now it's time to find out what's good. Oh, sorry about that. It seems like all we've heard about in the past few months in the news is the devastating effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, both on small businesses, as well as the health and livelihood of many people across the world. Today's good news is brought to you by Bill Gates and the Gates Foundation, who he's currently spending about $150 million to ensure that a vaccine, once developed, will only cost about $3 per person. And this is particularly important for developing nations and those in poverty who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford vaccines. And today I wanted to talk about Bill Gates and the Gates Foundation, who over the last 20 years has invested nearly $4 billion to the production of vaccines to help ensure that those in poverty can get the medical help that they need. So I feel like it's worth celebrating that. Also, I've put a link in the show description today, uh, because if you're like me, you might have Facebook friends or people on your social media who are buying into a lot of conspiracy theories these days. And so those surrounding Bill Gates and the Gates Foundation 
been thoroughly debunked, and I've put a link down in the show description so that you can spread those around and, and help get rid of misinformation and help put people's fears at ease. All right, that's going to do it for what's good. Now it's time to find out our Black Friday Deal of the Week. For this Black Friday Deal of the Week, I went down to Ybor City and got my hands on some of Al's finger-licking barbecue. I'm Al, I'm Al's uh, finger-licking good barbecue, located in Ybor City, North Angel Olivia Street and 6th Avenue. The best way to contact us right now, the direct phone that is uh, 813 956 Zero six seven five. What is your absolute favorite thing on the menu here? The, the yeah. best. The, <laughs> hey guys, the best product is the ribs. The ribs. Yeah, you can't miss. Hold on, let's see. What's the community thing? Y'all like Al's finger licking barbecue? That's, <laughs> that's that's the community agrees. Okay, so we got to get the ribs. If you want to deal with the bones, then go with the the pulled pork. We've been here for uh, 11 years, been in business probably about 20, and we we dedicated to what we do. We invest a lot of love into our, our product, not just hard work, we invest love. When you're eating it, you can taste the love. I just got back home with two fat sacks of finger licking good barbecue, and I can't wait to see what's inside. Ooh-wee! This stuff looks good. I got our pound of pulled pork here, and he gave us some buns. We got some ribs and spicy collard greens with baked beans and barbecue sandwich coleslaw beans and something I'm particularly looking forward to, <gasps> homemade pecan pie. Okay, listen. Listen, I'm not playing. You like good food? You love barbecue? You need to get down to Al's. This is seriously some of the best food that I've had in Tampa, in Florida, probably in my whole life. It's delicious. And my favorite thing, all oh, this blew my mind, this blew my mind, the little tiny pecan pie. It was phenomenal. I can't say enough good things about it. Please make sure you give Al's Finger Licking Barbecue a try. He keeps saying it's finger licking good. Personally, I think it's finger kicking good. I think that's going to do it for this week, another episode of Good Black Friday. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm really trying to grow this YouTube channel, especially for charitable purposes. Ultimately, I'd like this to be a revenue source for the Rhetorical Roundhouse Network, a nonprofit dedicated to reducing violence in our communities and spreading critically reflective martial arts to those who need it most. And you can help with that by hitting the subscribe button. So until then, remember, stay good, buy black, and come on back. See you next time.